Welcome to all 18 holes every shot of a two handicap golfers round at a Ryder Cup venue. This my golfing friends is Moor Town and this is a par 5 to start and I've started well aside from dropping my tee. Let's go! 192 front and that's what we're playing for. <laughs> Try not to kill my playing partner in the process. I don't really know what the wind's doing, I'm just going straight at it. Oh my goodness, be good. Or be 50 yard shot of the green. <laughs> Pretty straight, I hope. 56. That's not going to get there. That was never going well. <laughs> Rolled out a lot. Somewhere around the left edge. What do you mean, somewhere? Commit! That was quicker than I thought. That's a five. I'm not going to lose any sleep over a par to start. However, that is probably the easiest hole on the course, in complete contrast to this, which is almost the same distance but a par four. Therefore, I need a banging drive and then my Sunday best iron just to reach the green. Yeah. Nice soft bounce. Basically, I'd just be elated to make par. First job completed then with a plum, although it's still a five iron into the wind here just to get to the green, and then the green is horrific with a massive slope on it. 179 front, and that's all I'm hoping for, really. I thinned it, but it's incredible. Go. Well, not quite how I drew it up, but I'm happy. Oh, my fingers. Never mind your fingers. We've made it to the green, which I'm ecstatic about. Although the fun doesn't stop here. There's a massive amount of swing on this putt. Look at that. Oh my god. Oh, it's in. What a putt. What a birdie. Yeah. I think it might have been down by yours if that hadn't dropped, but. Oh, baby. <laughs> what a start. But I need to plant my feet firmly back on the deck here because we've got another 400 plus yard par four. But it is downwind. Good drive required. right of owls bad drive and off to chumanji we go never saw it i'll go grab my machete got away with it then i've got lift clean in place it's 166 middle downwind so i'm just gonna bunt an eight it's awkward but it's not too bad ow my hands do not go in that bunker well, I'm out. Well, I've duffed it out. It's very thick over there. I can't really go long here. So let's, let's aim for five feet short. That works. I think we're pin high, four feet left. Yep. What was that, Henry? Then just a bit of right lip action. Yeah, right. Yeah. This should be a nice part. Thank you. It tried to miss. Questionable scenes getting a read off Henry. But that's neither here nor there. The great start continues and our first look at the par threes. This is a good looking one to say the very least. That was a seven iron into the wind. Go in the hole. It's seven iron there. As usual, telling it to go in the hole, I've airmailed the green and a very tricky up and down here. It's all downhill from here. 
needs a very light touch. <laughs> Can I have this? <laughs> oh, this is scary. <laughs> yeah, somehow. So despite being terrified of that putt, I've managed to make par and we're onto a somewhat drivable par four and I can assure you there's not many on this course. So let's pop one on the green. Davo's backside's in the way, but I can tell you that's nowhere near. That wasn't where I was aiming. Rather stating the obvious there. However, it's absolutely fine in the end, just leaving me a long chip on, which I've done well so far this round. Massive divot created, which usually isn't a good thing from this distance. And as a result, I've left it short. These greens are terrifying. But it is uphill. Under normal circumstances, I'd back myself from here, but apparently not on this occasion. Probably not great trying to just two put from 25 feet. Yeah, I'm delighted. Confidence not exactly coursing through my veins on the greens, but alas, a par. And we're back to the very tough par fours, and I think this is stroke index two. Oh, that's horrendous. Get for... I'm, I'm in the next fairway. Right, this is going to fly forever, isn't it? I'm just going to hit an easy one. That was too easy. Oh, Johnny boy. Um, fairly straight. Let's actually attack this a bit more. Um, four out of ten. Glimpses of the confidence coming back, but not great execution. And we've left ourselves ten feet for par now. That was quick. Okay, well that's the first real mistake of the day. Bogey's not too bad though. Ah. Brutal. So somewhat of a brain fade there leading to a double bogey. But it's still not a terrible start and we have a par 5 so maybe we can make something up here. And it's not long by any stretch but it is into the wind. But that's an absolute bomb. I don't want that one back. It's a 3 wood all day but I can't hit it. So it's a 4 iron instead. Confidence leaking out of me once again, so we're laying up. Fortunately, I've executed that well and should give myself a good angle from here. Over on the left-hand side. Around 60 yards to this flag, so nippy spinner incoming. It felt like a really spinny contact that, mate. Well done. That's what I was trying to do, but I just hit it a bit firm. What you got, Dave? How much in it? I think there's loads there left to right, but not a lot. What, the hole? Probably not. It kind of looks like it might trickle right at the end. Yeah. Oh. Dave, that was a lot quicker than I thought. Video, lad. <laughs> that, that was chuck up in mouth moment. Well, sometimes golf does not have to be pretty, but it's effective. And we walk off with a par and onto the second par three, and this is a demanding one. That was a five iron. Yeah, we'll get up and down from there. Yep, yeah, I'm okay with that, honestly. It's a horrible golf shot in every respect, but it's fine. I am literally aiming at you, I think. Mm -hmm. Despite the beautifully manicured surrounds, and it's a feature of these par threes, 
the greens are wild so just watch what happens to the ball here I didn't hit it hard enough. I know, I know, I didn't hit it hard enough. I was trying to like land it up there. Right to left uphill. That rolled really purely though. In the end, then, I couldn't get up and down. Not surprising, really, with the difficulty of that chip. And up comes the ninth hole, a severe left-to-right dog leg. So I'm aiming up the right edge of the fairway. Oh, God, I nearly missed the ball. Carry somehow. <laughs> well, that's emasculating. I nearly missed the ball off the tee. It's turned out okay though. It's got a seven iron in hand, wind's pretty much just off the right, so at the flag, a little bit of draw will be fine. Hopefully, on the green. Or oh, hit 20 miles behind the ball. Go! Don't be daft. Might have crept on the front edge. Annoyingly, confidence is key to good golf shots, and watching this back, I just don't have a great deal today. Still a long way to go, though, including a long way for this putt, and that's a long way from the hole. And no matter how confident you are, nobody really likes these. Oh, get in. Oh. That yeah. will do nicely, and a decent front nine, if not spectacular. No huge numbers there. And on to the Himalayas par 3, the best on the course. It's a bit left. Oh, thanks, mate. Tugatha Christie reared her ugly head a tiny bit, but we're putting. This for bird. This would be a nice way to start the back nine. Yeah. Beautiful. Wild elation all over my face there. And we'll skip to the 11th. A blind tee shot. OB left, which you definitely need to avoid for obvious reasons. Ooh, the old helicopter finish. I've not seen that in a while. But it works. <laughs> the old helicopter. Believe me, I understand it about as well as you do. However, it's centre cut. Only 105 in. I nearly missed the ball. Letting an opportunity slip then. Great shot. Oh, I need snacks. Uh, you'll probably need divine intervention, let alone snacks. But we're putting. It's on the fringe. It's not great. Two puts the order of the day. right at the end yep a tiny misread and yet another one of these knee wobblers thankfully no worries this time on these wonderful greens and now we have another opportunity on a par five although this is much longer into the wind so i can't even reach the bunkers that cross the fairway here although henry has because he absolutely bombs it Sit. Yep. Perfect. Long way in. Just laying up. That's horrendous. Fortunately, I'll probably get away with it. Yeah, it's just left that tree. Well, disaster has struck, and I have somehow managed to gouge my inner mouth. Things are going from bad to worse. Typically, in snaffling an energy bar, I bit my lip. Average. Safe. Might make a par. 
I mean, yeah, that would be the order of the day, considering I've not hit a good shot for a while. This is off the fringe yet again, and it's a long way away this time. And I've completely underhit that. Oops! So that's three poor shots in a row, and suddenly we're staring this down for par. Whoa, that's a lot of left to right. It was a six, Al. <laughs> so after being in the centre of the fairway, a six it is out of nowhere. And we follow that up with a brute of a par four. Blind tee shot. Yeah, I'm happy with that one. Do you want to be right at that marker then? That's pretty much centre of the fairway. It certainly was. I can't do much better than that. And I still have an eight iron in here to this front right pin. Hugely sloping green from left to right. Hit it wind. Not, not spectacular. I'm actually all right with it. Went on my line, but the wind just didn't pull it back to the left. So we've just got a little bump and run here. Right up my street, really. Shouldn't be an issue. Except I've hit that too hard. Yeah, I was just trying to carry it over that yeah, wet yeah. stuff and it just kind of... It kind of what? I didn't even finish my sentence there. Left myself this. Yet another one. Yeah. I didn't think that would stay straight. Ah, what a shame that is. And it seems that we're clustering errors. Not to worry, though. Still plenty of golf left to go here. Although this is a very demanding tee shot. It's one of the narrowest fairways and you just cannot go left. Thankfully though, my driving has become a real strength. I've been piping it today. As good as I can do. Could not agree more. Unfortunately, the rest of my game hasn't quite stacked up to the strength of my driving. But we will cast that aside and pull it back here. It's a nice sand wedge into this flag. That was awful. Never mind, and we're back to the drawing board. It has made it to the green, but I could not be any further away if I tried. So I really need two putts here. Stay on the golf course, please. Dear oh dear, that was a bit hammer fisted. And this is further than it looks on camera. Staring another bogey in the face. Oh, yeah. Wow, that's a huge relief and hopefully a catalyst for a good finish. 15 hole. Those bunkers have all been removed from the middle of the fairway. Uphill though. Plays longer than its distance, but yet again, driver has been <laughs> sublime. And that's right into the middle of the fairway. If only the rest of the game was as good as my driving, I'd probably be about to break the course record. But alas, that's not the case. And this newly renovated area is full of bunkers. But just a gap wedge, although Tugatha Christie's coming out to play again. Pretty good for distance, I think. I mean, it's not great either. I'll level with you. Wouldn't have minded a makeable birdie opportunity. Reading quite a lot of left to right into this putt. Um, anyone? <laughs> Please! <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake, what have I done here? I'd love a tap in. I suck. Oh, for the love of God. It's got a new green. Unsurprisingly, a bit of anger on show. I've got no energy left, and I've got to, like, hit this 110%. So I've been goaded into trying covering this massive ditch across the fairway. And unsurprisingly, with that swing, that's not going to happen. I'll take that. And one way or another, I've come up miles short. It's actually a good position, this. 
Only a gap wedge in when I normally have six or seven iron. Can I make hay? Is it? Felt like a bit of a flyer, but it's on a great line. And that'll do very nicely. Here we go with a birdie putt then. Don't remember the last time I had a decent one of these. It's about 14 feet. Bit of right to left as I look at it. But not enough pace, no. unfortunately. No. So a tapping par, and we're on to closest to the pin. Right, come on, boys. Don't let me down here. Everybody's on camera for closest to the hole. 124, so just a little flick for Al. Hello. Oh. There we go. It's a great start, that? Nice shot. Exceptional shot from Alex. Here's Henry then. The best player in the group by handicap. Stay there. Still a good shot. Couldn't quite get it inside Al, but still a nice shot. And here's Davo. Hits salty bombs, but does he have the finesse? Good for this still. That's another good shot. It's tidy. Still outside Al though. And finally me, 50 degree in hand. And no. That's got to do something crazy. Yep, I missed the green. Yep, quality. So I managed to miss my mouth with a spoon. That's the least of my worries. Yet again, I'd be happy with two putts from here. Hopefully sweeping into the right. Tell you what, had the line, but yet again left it a foot short. But I'm not going to cry over a tap in three at any stage. And we'll move to the 18th, and I hope you've enjoyed watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you have. I'm going to bomb this down the fairway. What a beautiful finishing hole this is. Lots of bunkers to avoid. I could say that about most holes on this course, but it's very well That's protected, good. as it should be. I've yet again managed to avoid all that and split the fairway. And what a shot this is. Back towards the clubhouse, eight iron in hand. Trying to cut one back towards that right hand flag. But it has stayed straight. But another solid shot to the heart of the green. And can we finish on a high with a three? How nice would that be? I really hope you've enjoyed watching. Oh, it's too hard on that Unfortunately, line. I've missed that one, but I should tap him for par. See you next time. Good. Wow, I didn't see that happening. Whoops.